If you're on Netflix, I'm sure you've seen how Netflix will change the thumbnail of their different series. And I assume that's to meet people where they're at on that specific day to optimize performance. Let's say you don't click on that series one day, you may click on it with a different thumbnail. More importantly, popular creators on YouTube, I mean, the most popular creator, Mr. Beast, has been doing that for years. He'll choose up to five or make up to five different thumbnails for his video to try and optimize the performance, the watch time, the views, the click through, etc. Instead of doing this manually, like Mr. Beast has been doing for years, YouTube can now do it automatically. It's called test and compare. Test and compare is YouTube's beta launch feature, which automatically changes up to three thumbnails for your video and YouTube will run a test over a duration of time and select the best thumbnail based on watch time, impression click through rate, etc. I'm gonna be showing you how you could possibly get early access to that a little bit later on in the video. In addition, there are some important best practices that you need to remember when doing this, and I'll show you some of those as well. You can do this while you're uploading a new video or on old and existing videos, so if you don't have access yet, start making those thumbnails for the time that it comes out. But check this out. You go to edit your details of the video, go to options, and there is this new feature called test and compare. Basically what it does is you can upload up to three images to learn which one your viewers prefer. This is a video that I've already enabled it for and I'm gonna be showing you the results. They actually amazed me already. But basically, your viewers are not gonna see these three different thumbnails. This is just for our reference to know that the test is running. Also, I've done it for this one, but I just selected two to test that performance as well. When we click edit for this video that is already done, we can see that this test is running. Now what's amazing is I can go into my options and say view test report. This is gonna give us an indication of which thumbnail is performing the best out of the three. This test has been running for 20 hours. I set it up yesterday and we can see that there's some different watch time share results that YouTube has found. What's more important is this thumbnail one that I had set on this video for two weeks is performing the worst. Thumbnail two is at 36.8% and thumbnail three is at 33%. So those different thumbnails that I wasn't using are actually performing better than the one that I was using. What does watch time share mean? I think that is super important. So watch time share doesn't only relate to the number of people that click through to your video. YouTube is looking out for their best metric, which is your watch time, which should always be your goal to get the highest possible watch time. YouTube is saying how many people are clicking on this video versus how long are they watching it, right? So you may have a super clickbaity thumbnail that you know tons of people are gonna click through, but they're only gonna watch for 10 seconds because the content of your thumbnail and the content of your video don't relate at all. YouTube doesn't like that. Your video generally isn't gonna perform well if you have a really short watch time on a longer video. So we're really relying on YouTube's algorithm here instead of doing it manually and seeing which one pulls the most amount of views. And I actually prefer doing it automatically instead of having to do it manually. What will happen once this test is done is YouTube will automatically select one out of your three thumbnails to be classed as the winner. It'll then set that thumbnail based on your watch time share performance, and that'll be the only thumbnail. At any time that you think, wow, this thumbnail is completely outperforming the rest, I can select stop and set, and that'll stop the test and choose this thumbnail too as the winner, and that'll be the only thumbnail that's set for this video. But I think it's so cool that it's running three different thumbnails on the same video, so I'm just gonna leave it to see what these results show. If we go back to our channel content, let's go to the details of this one where I've got two running and see what the test results comes up as. You can see here, the test has not yet produced any results for us, not enough information to display data. Now, I think this is important to mention. If we look at the viewership of this video, which is 2,491 versus 9,657, you can see that this, this test needs more views. It wants some more data before it presents that results. Hey, if you wanna make better videos, check out the first link in the description. That's gonna take you to my video assets store. Cheers. So how is this gonna look if you're uploading a new video? We go to create, upload video, and let's select our video file. I'm just gonna select one of my motion backgrounds that you can find. When you're uploading the video, you can see in the thumbnail section, we have the original upload file. We have this auto-generated feature, which is also new that YouTube then selects the best kind of point of the video. And then we have test and compare. Once we click that, we can then upload our three different thumbnails and click done, and that'll run the test. Like I said, you can do it on old videos, 
and you can do it on new videos that you're uploading in the future. All right, some best practices. Test and compare is not gonna work if your video or channel is set for made for kids. 99% of us are not making videos specifically for kids, so this should work. Also, if your video is set for mature audiences, this isn't gonna work, and then, it isn't gonna work on live videos as well. Now let's go back to my MacBook Air M1 video and I wanna show you. Now, I know some of us, and I was even speaking to a friend about it, some of us may think and see this and say, oh my goodness, I need to generate two extra thumbnails or three extra thumbnails if you don't generally generate thumbnails. And I just wanna say, this is the only deviation of thumbnail. You can see that I've used the same image here and we'll put them on screen for you. The same image and all I've changed is the text and the placement of that arrow. So you, you don't need to be a Mr. Beast and change your entire thumbnail and have graphic designers working on five different thumbnails. Just select a main image or an emotion out of your video and make three different thumbnails with different text. It honestly could take you an extra two minutes to do, but it is gonna have incredible results on your video. Now, let's say this video gets a million views. The difference of 8% is 80,000 views that people could potentially not click. More importantly, we all know that your video's performance is based on how many people are clicking on your video. The more people that click and like your video, the more people that click and watch through your video, the more views your video is gonna get. So why not set yourself up with the best possible chance for that video to do well and seeing which thumbnail is the best for your videos and setting it as that. All right, so how do you get it? The first thing you need is YouTube desktop. So go to your studio and see if it's enabled for some of your old videos. If it is not, Let's go back to YouTube Studio. And what we're gonna do is go to Settings, Channel, Feature Eligibility, all right? All of these three should be enabled for your channel in order to get it, but this specific test and compare feature falls under the advanced feature. So some of you may not have intermediate feature enabled. What you'll need to do is verify your phone number in order to have intermediate feature enabled. And then what you need to have is advanced features enabled, and you can see that test and compare different thumbnails is under this advanced feature section. And you can see that I have a tick under channel history. You need to build up channel history based on your community guidelines. And this generally takes, like YouTube says here, up to two months to do. So what you need to be doing is posting videos regularly for two months in order to build up this channel history. Alternatively, you can verify your video through a valid ID or video verification. You can see that I'm unable to do video verification based on my channel location, and I'm also unable to do valid ID. So I have to rely on this channel history, which has that tick next to it. For some of you guys, maybe located in the States, you may be able to do a video or ID verification to speed up this process if you don't wanna wait two months. And once you have these enabled, it is just a matter of time before this gets rolled out to you. I did compare with a different channel yesterday that has all of these features enabled and unfortunately testing compare hadn't been released for that channel just yet. But YouTube says that over the next couple months, this beta feature is gonna be released for all channels. So the most important thing that you can do is check if you have it and if you don't, it's just a matter of time. And there we go, that is the new YouTube feature that is gonna radically change up this whole space and I'm convinced about it. I'll see you in the next one, cheers everybody.